the Euro 2024 Football Cup is kicking off. And for our American viewers, yes, I say football, and I didn't even stutter. With that, we're bringing in a guest to bring us more commentary on the matter. And now joining us to discuss the favorites, Poland's chances and the speculation ahead of the opening match is Michal Zawadzki, sports journalist and TVP uh, sport and football commentator who also collaborated with FIFA. Hello, sir, and welcome to TVP World. Hello, welcome. Good morning. So um, first and foremost, I would love to ask now, how significant is the um, opening match between Germany and Scotland for setting the tone um, of Euro 2024? So the first match is uh, always uh, very, very important, especially for the host as Germany, uh, this tournament. Uh, they need three points for a good start. Uh, also, the Scotland needs uh, three points. So I think that can be a very good, but very tough game for, for both teams. Right. But uh, speaking of the teams and their prospect, what about Poland? What are Poland's chances? Oh, we have a very tough, uh, very tough group, yeah, uh, with France, uh, the runner-up of the last World Cup, and uh, very strong Netherlands. They won two friendly games uh, last week. So the Austria is also strong. Uh, they won three of four uh, friendly games this year. So I think that uh, will be a very, very tough tournament for, for the Polish team. But so, uh, let's play and we'll see what will happen. But still, uh, now lack of um, now Polish key player Robert Lewandowski, I feel like will not help Polish case, would it? So I hope uh, this is uh, coach Probish uh, uh, trick, and uh, maybe Lewandowski will play. We know that the Probish is a tricky guy, and maybe this is a kind of uh, this disinformation for the for the Netherlands team. Uh, we have uh, very good strikers. So uh, Buxa and Piontek, they scored 33 goals in Turkish league last season. Uh, of course, uh, without Lewandowski, this is a different team. Yeah, the, the opponents will focus on the other players. If Lewandowski will play, they will focus on Lewandowski and there is more space for the other players uh, in the Polish, uh, Polish team. Um, it's difficult to say what will happen. I'm still waiting for the info that Lewandowski will play uh, this game. And if not, of course, we believe in Buxa and, and Piontek, very good strikers. We'll see. Now, you mentioned earlier that Germany being the host nation as, as some sort of significance for the country. Can you help us understand why being a host nation changes any calculations? So about the host nation, uh, so the expectations for the hosts are, are always uh, very, very high. Uh, Germany is uh, one of the favorites, of course. Uh, they are changing the team. The cross is back in the team. Mm, he's responsible for the regulating for the, the pace of the game. Uh, they will have the support of their fans and, uh, and maybe Maybe they will back uh, in the top of the of the um, uh, world football. We know that they lost two uh, World Cups in the group phase, two last two World Cups. Uh, very strong are England, very strong are France, very strong, uh, uh, very strong is uh, also uh, Netherlands. I think uh, maybe uh, maybe Spain. So about the Germany. Uh, as we said, uh, the start, the first game will be very important for them uh, to, to have three points. Uh, anything can happen, can happen but uh, remember that uh, uh, the first game for the, for the host is, uh, is every time, is always uh, very important. A good start is a good tournament. Uh, uh, so what can I say more? They haven't played in the qualifications, and this is something uh, something difficult for the team. Yeah, after the qualifications, you know what uh, what the form of your team is, and about the Germany. So they play at the Nations Nations League and only the only the um, the friendly games. Uh, that's why I think uh, it's still uh, just a big question about this team. And now you mentioned, um, apart from the favorites, you mentioned that anything can happen, which leads me to my next question. Can you highlight perhaps any underdogs in the tournament that might surprise the favorites? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of teams uh, can be underdogs. Yeah, a lot of a lot of teams can be a big surprise. Uh, so I think that the Ukraine can be a big surprise. Uh, maybe a Turkey. They lost against Poland, of course, uh, last Monday, but it's still a very strong team with the talented players, young talented players. Uh, one of the two youngest teams in the qualifications uh, uh, next to the um, to Ukraine, and I think. Uh, Maybe, maybe the one of the teams from uh, group. I don't remember the the group, but uh, this is the group: uh, Belgium, Romania, uh, Slovakia, and Ukraine. Yeah, and, and uh, I think one of these teams can be an underdog and, and a big surprise of this of this tournament. All right, and Alexandra, do you know we are in the presence of the TVP Sport commentator for this very event? So, uh, sir, uh, with that in mind, when you're commentating this event um, for us watching at home, what should we be focusing on? Uh, we are commentating from the stadiums. Yeah, that uh, first of all, we are focusing on the on the pitch, on the field. Uh, what is what will, what is what is going on on the on the pitch? Uh, but uh, we still to be to be ready to check what is on a monitor on our commentary position. Uh, for example, VAR, of course, uh, there are a lot of uh, statistics. You should to be very, very, very smart uh, at the stadium if you want to uh, to be good uh, between the pitch and between the monitor, because uh, the spectators, the viewers at home, and the fan zones, uh, you just receive the final. Uh, final uh, fee final feed from uh, from the uh, host broadcaster and as a commentator you need to be between the field between the pitch between the monitors uh, between the something else around the pitch it's it's, it's very difficult but uh, uh, I have a experience about over 20 years in commentary that uh, I think all the Polish commentators will be ready or will be very smart uh, during the the whole tournament. So it's, it's a very delicate balancing act, I feel like. Um, now, I know that uh, sports is about sports and usually politics is not involved, at least it should not be, but sometimes it still creeps in. So um, my question is, um, because we do know that this is a very important tournament also for Ukraine, both for Ukraine and Georgia, but what is also the political significance to your mind of now uh, the involvement of these uh, two nations in the tournament, it's, it's, tournament itself? So about the Ukraine, a week ago I estimated that uh, Ukraine uh, could be the surprise of the tournament, as I said before. They lost the friendly match against Poland, uh, but uh, later then won against uh, Moldova, uh, but they were a wicked team. So Sergei Rebrov is a good coach uh, with a modern approach. Uh, Dovbik is a top, top scorer last season uh, La Liga. Uh, this is a proud nation and I have uh, an expectation that they will be maybe not first because the Belgium is the favorite of their group, but uh, they can be uh, they can be second and uh, go through to the knockout phase. Um, Romania and Slovakia uh, are the rivals within the Ukraine's uh, reach, I think. All right. And for it's... me, that will be a good thing that uh, if, the, if, the, if the Ukraine will win, uh, maybe not win the the Euro Euro Championship, but uh, if they will go to the semi-final, for example, should be something special for the for the nation. Right, exciting games coming up and a lot of things to look out for. So thank you for breaking this all down. And we're looking forward to your commentary on the big games. So thank you for being My with pleasure. us right now on TVP World.